we're going to go ahead and look at another study. And in this study, what you will notice, the big thing to notice here, is the play of opposite forces. Opposite forces meaning how one force is battling another force. Now we'll go ahead and look at exactly what we mean by that. So I'll close this image passing down just a bit and pick a make sure pick a good color. Okay. And I'll start with the little girl here. Now you can see well I'll go ahead and start with the head. And her back is being pushed up like this. You see the up arrow is being pushed up her back and his lines are leading through her foot and coming out like so. The how to get her other foot I disconnected the line and drew in the other foot like that. For to get her arms I pull around and come in like so. Yeah. Right where you see her, she's gripping on her her dress, there is also some force lines coming out. So I will draw those in here. They come around. You see the wrinkles? They come around and they dip in into the hair like this, you see. So if we remove the image, you can see how this all sways around like water. This is how you do the regular gestures, the general approach to gestures. This dangling rag here is making the same up upwards pose, up into the robe. Now we'll get into the composition of things later. I'm just going to go ahead and focus mostly on the characters. Now, this whole force is being brought down, if you noticed. Now we're going to lead our eye up the image, up to this angel. Now, uh, pick a red, white red, no. Bright green, maybe? Yes. You see this line, asymmetry going through the figure, like so. The foot going through this foot going through. Now you can see a force being pushed through, like this for this in a different color you see the body right his belly is being pushed down the wings are being pushed down and create an arrow that go this way his arm right here is being pushed down he's looking down so everything is pushing down so all of this creates a giant force full line that is pushing everything down. See this is going down and this is going up. Everything so far is going up here and everything is going down here. Well if that's not enough to convince you why this is going up and this is going down, we'll look at the main focus, the star guy here in the middle. Beginning from his bottom rope right here, which is a very good easy target to pick here. You see his rope is being brought up and there's a force, another forceful line. This arrow goes right into and around this guy. 
around and up. Let's see. Look at that. So you go up, around. You can see here his waist in perspective. It just moves up like so. Around the image, if you can see the wrinkles in the clothes, it all goes around. Now here's some, so here's an interesting area to look at here, this beard. You'll see this a lot in master studies is that the beard is a good indicator of force. Because I, I think because in the old days beards were manly. A beard was a sign of, of man. Good. So this beard is also a force. His sword is also duking out the force. This creates an opposite force, like we talked about earlier. Opposite force. Let me get a good color. Pink. Okay. Opposite force. And opposite forces are forces that battle each other on um, one side and on another side. So that's one force going this way. And the force going that way. So, looks interesting, right? It gets even more interesting as we come back down to the little girl. You can see these lines go right back down, pushing back down the girl, which made everything dip down, like we've already indicated. So, his hand is moving upwards, obviously, to keep the sword from stopping this angel. And as we move down the figure here, everything sort of trickles off and dips in to help with this lower half that we see here this lower half. This is very masterful composition. So you see there's a force being just pushed down like so. So everything goes up on one side like so and everything on the other side where the angel is looking is going down because this guy is trying to save this girl. Okay. Everything else in the composition sort of points back to these points of interest. You see this dangling leaf just points back to the girl. And there's just a random sheep here, but because the random the sheep's nose sort of is also a force that's just pushing down, it sort of helps lead the eye to push down into the picture. And the donkey has his ear pushing up, and on the other side, which where the other the girl is, off the picture, his ear is going down. I mean, he could have his ear going down this way and his ear going up, but no. The artist made sure to utilize these these principles. So that's why his ear is going up this way and his ear on this side is going down because the whole picture you see that this is going up and this is all going down. Okay? Very, very interesting stuff that we see here. So this is going up. Okay, and let's remove the image and you can see all of this stuff here is all the gesture, all the compositional stuff that we see here, all movement, and is what you will be using when you're doing forceful gestures. Forceful gesture. 